Practical Calligraphy by George Thompson is divided into four parts. First part is the basics, so like instruments, surfaces, line shapes, and other other topics are discussed. Part two is called Moving On, and it has things like lessons from the past, the italic hand, flourishing, and there's a few other things as well. Part three is projects, where there are nine of them. Part four is re reference. So you got gliding, layout, and design, where to go from here, and a glossary. So there's images of examples slash like helpful pictures from like the writing portion, like the projects. How to write letters and other images are also placed. So like in the projects when he's stating when like how to do the things, there's an image of like one like a few of the steps showing you somewhat what they should be looking like. And it like depending on like if you get an ebook or a physical copy of it, you're you still are looking at under a hundred pages. And like from the beginning, yeah. He states it's, this is an introduction to calligraphy, and it's more text-based than showing you how to do certain things in calligraphy. Yeah, you got the nine projects, but it's not like some of the projects aren't like total beginner it's just these are some of the things you could be doing that with the with practice and one would want to go to do further reading to do further practice and it's a good start to calligraphy but to learn more, you'd want to go elsewhere. There are sites and books to look into given to you in the reference part of the book. So he knows this isn't like the end all be all, that this is more of an introduction to not like to calligraphy to me more not more of like doing it or the practice of it but almost kind of like an introduction like as a whole almost like I don't want to say like a history but you get like a snapshot of how to and the materials and like there is some history that is in place into it but you got the information base and not just here's how to make a nice looking G or whatever. So if you are a type of person that wants to have a fuller, rounder experience with calligraphy, this book would be a book for you to have a look into and it will be a quick read to have a look through if you don't, again, if you don't do the projects at the time like at the time of reading of reading it so if you just do a read of the book it shouldn't take you too long and if you want to come back and do the projects then those projects would take us some time but as a read you're looking at a fairly quick under an hour type or some under a half hour type read so yeah Practical Calligraphy, Materials, Techniques, and Projects by George Thompson. Happy readings!